Good day. In this video, we are going to try to solve question 1A of the 2021 Level 2 NCA Probability Methods question. Without further ado, let's try to read the question. New Zealand is well known for its cafe culture and the availability of coffee has increased significantly over the past 20 years. However, there is a growing concern that teenagers are consuming more ca caffeine with potential negative effects on their sleep behaviours and performance at school. So A. A school was concerned about this issue and conducted an online anonymous survey of 300 of its senior students. It asked if students drink coffee regularly, at least three times a week, and if they have any sleep-related issues. The results are summarized in the table below. So we have on the road, we have drink coffee regularly and don't drink coffee regularly. And then on the column, we have sleep issues, no sleep issues, and the total as usual. So according to the results of this survey, what proportion of the senior students drink coffee regularly? So you look at drink coffee regularly, we look at this row here, okay? They are all together 122. So there are a total of 122 out of the 300. So that is a simple achieve in this paper. Great. Now we shall continue with part 2 of the question. 1A part 2. Okay, we shall adjust the paper a little bit. Okay, the second question is, what is the probability in the same table that the randomly selected student from this survey who has sleep issues so we are looking at people with sleep issues we are total so we are interested in only the 143 people with sleep issues also drinks coffee regularly so very simple has sleep issues is going to be i uh, have sleep issue and drink coffee regularly is going 68 it's going to be 68 out of the total of who, people who have sleep issues 143 and again that is a simple achieve okay next we shall look at part three okay we shall now look at a con okay so we will read the question jack look at the data for students with sleep issue the same data and notice few of them drink coffee regularly okay he claimed that it is less likely for coffee drinkers to have sleep issues than those who don't drink coffee. He is looking at the absolute number, 68 against 54, so he make that decision. So explain Jack's reasoning and ju justify why he is wrong. Include appropriate calculation to support your answer. Okay, so now we are looking at people who drink coffee regularly and don't drink coffee regularly. Okay, so probability if the student has a sleep issues, if he drink coffee regularly, okay, so if he drink coffee regularly, so there are a to total of 122 of them, if they have sleep issues, the probability is going to be 68 out of 122. 68 over 122, if you put in the decimal, it's going to be 0 0.5574. On the other hand, if they have a sleep issues, if they don't drink coffee regularly, we look at this call row now, okay? They have sleep issues. The total number of people who drink don't drink coffee regularly is 178. If they have sleep issues, the probability is going to be 75 out of 178. If you convert them into decimal, it's going to be 0 0.4213. So to calculate the relative risk, we take those with a sleep issue who drink coffee regularly, so 0 0.5574, and you divide by those who have sleep issues who don't drink coffee regularly, which is 0 0.4213, and the answer is going to come up to 1.323. So, in other words, Jack is wrong because those who have sleep issues if they drink coffee regularly is 1.323 times more than those people who have sleep issues if they don't drink coffee regularly. So that is why Jack is wrong. He's looking at the absolute numbers rather than just uh, conditional probability. So if that's the case, that is how you answer this question and that answer will give you a merit. So the first question is achieved, second question is achieved, and second, third question is a merit. So keep watching and I'll do question 1B in the next video. Cheers everyone, have a good day.